Hey there, folks, Mark Johnson from TechSnob. Just going to do a quick look at the uh, new MacBook Air. Now, uh, this is the, the 2013 model. I'm zooming real quick. Show you this is the uh, 1.7 uh, CPU, 8 gigs of uh, RAM. Also got 256 storage on this. Um, so definitely um, pretty nice overall machine. You know, it's very similar to the other MacBook Airs if you've used one in the past. Um, you know, outside of the dual mics on the left-hand side of the unit, there's really not much you can see different. Purpose for this video, just to give you an idea of some of the speed, you know, I got a browser open. Let's just say I go to the blog. Let's see, tech-snobs.com. And just give you an idea of the speed and so forth. Everything's pretty, really fast. Um, let's try the size, try Google. Everything seems to really zip on this thing. And one of the things about it, um, that I definitely like that I can tell a big difference from is the SSD. Um, SSD performance here is, is very, very good. Um, and it's very noticeable, you know, from a, especially if you're coming from like an old MacBook Pro that doesn't have a, um, you know, it's using like a 5400 RPM hard drive or something of that sort. So definitely keep that in mind. And just to give you an, another idea of it, I'm going to go on into the uh, launch pad. I have the speed test app, um, you know, for the speed test of uh, this disk speed test, Black Magic. And it's really, really give you an idea. Let's just show you the crazy speeds I've been seeing on this thing. I I'm seeing 700 megs down um, pretty consistently. I mean, it's going right in, read. And it it's, I'm really astonished by it because I I bought an SSD for my old MacBook Pro and I was only getting maybe around 200 or so and I just bought that I want to say a year ago it was a SanDisk one and uh, and this thing here just keeps cranking and cranking so that's pretty cool I'm also going to load up and do a um, a Geekbench 2 test which gives you an idea on the performance there um, but yeah you see consistently this test keeps running easily getting over 700 each and every time. Another thing about this is the battery life. When I, you know, when I cut it on, it said 14 hours and 42 minutes. And just to give you an idea now, I mean, that was Monday. And now, granted, I've been using other machines, you know, all throughout the week. But now I'm seeing 700, excuse me, 7 hours and 44 minutes, which is great, you know, considering the fact that, um, you know, I've had, I haven't even charged this thing not once. And, and here it is Saturday and I had it since Monday. So, Definitely very impressive on that aspect. Be right back. I'm going to get the little Geekbench loaded up and we'll do a, a benchmark with that. Okay, back. Got the uh, Geekbench 2 loaded up. Run a quick benchmark. Like I said, this is the 1.7 model, 8 gig of RAM um, and so forth. So we're going to do the 64-bit test, uh, see how this performs with that. I did this test on my uh, MacBook Pro uh, early 2011 model. I had a 13-inch. And I got 62.14 on that, um, you know, which is definitely decent. And that's with the SSD. I didn't even try it with the, you know, the standard 5400 RPM drive that comes with it. So with that being said, um, you know, that one does have, I, that, I think that one's clocked at 2.3 um, gigahertz. And it also has 8 gig of RAM in that one as well. So, you know, definitely, you know, when I bought that machine, I was waiting for the next model of the air to come out which I'm going to compare here in a second but I just needed a machine early so I couldn't wait so I, I went with that Mac Pro uh, as my first Mac so wow so this is impressive here as on this I'm getting 8266 so that's definitely a nice score definitely right in there in between the uh, you know the iMac and you know and the Mac Pros and so forth you know um, so definitely higher than the you know the lower end Mac Pros but um, nice scores. And I've also, I want to say I've seen some of the, the retina scores. I don't know if it even gets that high as well. So I have to, to double check that, um, you know, on their site because they have a way where you can upload stuff. So I'm going to go ahead and upload that myself. So that's definitely pretty cool. Um, so we went on and sent that up. Let's look at the benchmark chart while we're doing this. Let's give you an idea. So 64 bit benchmarks. So yeah, you see, you know, you got the IMAX getting around 13,000. This was around 82. Uh, the Retina is around 13,000. The Mac Mini really specced out. So when you look at the, the Retina, i7 is 11,000. So it's sitting right up in there. I mean, there's, um, you know, 
Let me scroll down. So right where around eight, yeah, it gets it's right around the, the Retina display, uh, you know, MacBook Pro, which is definitely nice considering that this is, uh, it is a little smaller than that as well, and the 11 inch is right right there as well too with the 2013. So that being said, I'm gonna close this one up. I'm gonna bring over the 2011 model, and we're gonna do the same thing just to give you an idea. Now, first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start. The, the speed test. Now, the speed test, as you can see, is much, much, much slower. Um, and that's not a bad thing. You know, obviously, two years ago, this thing was great. As you can see, this was, this is the mid 2011 model. Um, four gig of RAM on this one versus the the eight gig on the other one. This is a Core i5, and you know, it's, it also does have mountain lion. So that's definitely it's getting around. 200, 180, 234 reads, somewhere around there. So that's that's decent. I mean, definitely was very fast at the time. Um, Geekbench 2, let's run and see what this pans out to do. Okay, so we're back. Got 6,007 uh, score on this. Nice score, decent score. Um, it, it is definitely impressive from aspect. You know, I was just telling you my Mac Pro from early 2011, the 13-inch I had, after I upgraded to a 256 SSD and put an 8 gig of RAM, I'm only getting 6214 with that. And with the baseline uh, 2011 MacBook Air, I'm getting 6000. So that just kind of gives you an idea of, uh, you know, once they went, I believe this had the Sandy Bridge in it. Once they went to that um, in 2011, it was a big boost of performance overall in the MacBook Airs from, you know, a couple years ago. So. You know, if you want, um, and another main thing I want to point out is that on the newer Airs, it does have the Intel 5000 uh, graphics, and I'm going to do some testing with that, see how games and things play on that, but that should be a big bump and jump in performance there. I'm looking forward to seeing how that performs, especially with stuff like, you know, when I've used Final Cut Pro, uh, you know, on my MacBook Pro from early 2011, it sometimes it will frequently freeze up and have some issues. So I just want to see how that performs on the 2013 model. So be sure to stay locked into the YouTube channel and the uh, blog. Going to be doing some more things on the blog lately. Been a lot of things going on. So just check that out. Thanks for watching, folks. Take care.